Hey everyone, so I was caught by this guy on the show floor. This is 8-Pack. He is actually Dare Bauer's nemesis. So 8-Pack came over to me and said, I've seen you doing a lot of videos with Roman, and if you don't do a video with me, you're not gonna like what happens. <laughs> That's yeah, right. Crush. That's actually quite scary. Yeah. So uh, this is pretty interesting. Roman has his own water cooling thing we talked about, monoblock setup without tubes. You've got your own water cooling thing. You're at Overclockers UK. Yeah. Rowan's at Case King. Yeah. Uh, and you're kind of the same company, ultimately. Yeah, ultimately, so, we're, ultimately. Uh, we're the same company. Right. And we're working together with, with slightly different focuses, but the same common goal. Right. Ultimate performance, no compromise, right. something different to the industry. Yeah, so uh, for the water cooling solution, we were talking about this. I've seen so many open loop everything at the show. Uh, a lot of it is very similar, right? Yeah. But you're talking about performance focus. Yeah. Uh, everyone else is talking about RGB LEDs. Before that, this video is brought to you by the Be Quiet Dark Rock Slim, keeping a high performance focus but reducing the footprints to accommodate full memory slot compatibility. The Dark Rock Slim comes with one of Be Quiet's Silent Wings 3 120mm fans built for low noise operation. The Dark Rock Slim advertises cooling capability up to 180 watt TDP, but mixes in a matte blackout color design to combine performance and looks. Learn more at the link in the description below. Yeah. So on the performance side, what what is the problem you're trying to solve? And why is it a problem I care about? Well, for, for, top, a, for top a long level. time, I'm trying to, uh, you know, uh, do something different in water cooling. Like you say, yeah. everyone is doing the same thing. Uh, uh, and for, for that, for a long time, uh, we've been researching how we can do something different and do something right. better. Uh, and I was lucky enough to be approached by a company called Nexilus, mm. who are a research-driven cooling company based in Ireland, okay. who want to also do something different, okay? Uh, um, 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 to go about the project, we first looked at what are the limitations of a current water cooling solution. Uh, and by doing that, obviously, we selected a range of products, and we noticed that every single one is doing the, the straight impingement plate mm. to design onto a symmetrical, uh, uh, fin, yeah. if you like, that's parallel. Uh, Mi parallel micro fins. Yeah, so parallel micro fins where the fluid's just flowing down. Right. Uh, and we noticed uh, with this uh, arrangement that the uh, temperature uh, of, the, of uh, the fluid essentially uh, was not equal across uh, the surface of the cooling plate. Okay. Uh, and that the uh, essentially that the temperature performance was not scale uh, the block performance was not scaling correctly uh, with the power of the pump or the pressure of the pump. Uh, and also that the, the mic there was no uh, directed cooling. So the cores at the end of the die, in fact, were uh, much warmer than the ones where the uh, liquid directed in the first okay. place. So uh, one of the focuses then, there are different hot spots on the dies. Yeah, and exactly. It's, it's going to yeah. depend on like every type of die or at least yeah, every family. Of course, yeah, yeah. So that's a nightmare to design for. But uh, you were telling me, so you guys did uh, some x-rays, I guess? Yeah, we did scans? some x-rays to okay. find out where the, the heat's coming from uh. on the die itself. Uh, and then we tested uh, for each block uh, many, many mm. impingement plates. Uh, so we got the direct flow over uh, the, the dies, essentially. The hot spots. Yeah. Okay. And, I mean, of course, any Skylake X die is the same for, say, 12 core, 18 core, whatever. They, they just cut off uh, right. features uh, on the CPU itself. Uh, so so we've uh, optimized the impingement plate f for the, the die in question, essentially. Okay. So I guess coming down to the uh, performance side of things, I think one of the questions or comments you'll get in the comment section is, okay, but water cooling is already good enough. So who cares about the difference? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, uh, this is a, a no compromise approach, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? It's the, been the best of the best and, and not being a me too. Right, it's, right. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, water, water cooling is great now, but y you can still do something better, right? Right. You know, right. and uh, uh, the design that we've come up with is, is also uh, one which will uh, lower maintenance for the end user, yeah. you know? Uh, and every single uh, CPU that the end user buys, they can change the impingement plate so they know they're getting the absolute optimum cooling. So for, for that then, uh, is it like you just pull a couple screws out and you swap the plates? Is that yeah, what you're you just, about? Yeah, okay. uh, you can just undo the, the four uh, Allen bolts on the okay. bottom, take open the block, put in the new impingement plate, uh, re-put together the block. Okay, let's let's talk about this. You were telling me that there's a, uh, there's a couple things I want to touch on, but one of them is direct IHS or direct die contact yeah. options. Yeah. So direct die, everyone I think knows, you know, you delay the die and you cool it directly. I know it's a bit more involved with water cooling, yeah. but 
Um, let's do direct IHS first because that's a bit different. So direct IHS, you remove the copper cold plate. Is that accurate? Yeah, we okay. remove the, the copper cold plate, which our copper cold plate has some really uh, unique features. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you remove the copper cold plate and you have a seal, uh, which is sealing uh, effectively the, the water block directly to the IHS. Okay. And obviously by doing this, you, you remove uh, the copper plate itself, which can be inefficient, yeah. and you remove the layer of tin, which yeah. is, is always inefficient, even with the best tins possible. Uh, you know, even with liquid lamp oil, you remove well, that and you make that much more efficient. Fewer fewer interfaces is better. Yeah, That's of cool. course, yeah, always, yeah. 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 So uh, so the seal then, to make sure it doesn't leak into the socket, is it like it, gaskets or what? It, yeah, it's uh, two gaskets that we've tested uh, to temperatures, uh, you know, really high temperatures of above, above 130. Okay. Uh, and we've tested over a uh, long duration. Right. I mean, that won't be a skill that uh, everyone will be able to buy, you know. Right. It'll be an SI stroke uh, server skill. Uh, for like high frequency trading or people okay. that need the absolute, uh, because obviously, as you can probably gather from the type of the skill that it is, it would be easy for someone to make a mistake in mounting, oh, yeah. Yeah, even right. with the best instructions possible. Right. And I won't want to damage anyone's hardware, but it will be available uh, in SI across the case King group. Okay. Yeah. And then what about direct dye? Is that? That's a very similar, okay. uh, similar uh, config, yeah. Uh, it's just an optimal uh, plate now for the smaller area uh -huh. of the of the direct. Of so is the it, does itself. it secure just from mounting force from the screws? Yeah. Okay. Exactly that. Yeah. And we'll have our own uh, in time our own torque screws. Okay. So they click when it's mounted correctly. Right, right. So you cannot over tighten or right. under tighten. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean that's obviously important with the making direct the die. correct seal and also not damaging the die. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, other thing I wanted to mention. So we were talking about the the pressure of the water coming into the the block yeah so uh one of the issues with water cooling is as people are well aware is stuff getting gunked up over time yeah right of course the maintenance uh, factor right and yeah and this it's partly a user error issue if they're not if you're not maintaining your loops that's kind of i mean if you don't change the fluid in your car it's kind of your fault to some degree but um there's definitely manufacturers who do things poorly too uh different types of coolants can gunk up as yeah, well of course yeah uh so we were talking about how on the block side of things you can do a few things and one of them is increase the pressure going into the yep. block itself. Increasing the pressure. To flush out yeah, any Yeah, and gunk. it's flushing everything out, yeah. So then how are you increasing the pressure? Well, what we've got uh, with the, the impingement plant arrangement the way I use, and obviously we're using uh, jet impingement, so uh, the jets are, uh, you know, uh, according to where the, where the cores are. It's a bunch of small holes, right? Yeah, okay. uh, yeah, of different diameters actually, depending on the, the CPU we're trying to cool. Okay. You know, so we've investigated all that kind of thing very okay. thoroughly. But uh, uh, it's also, obviously with this higher pressure, yes, there's slightly more impingement. However, oh. it's making sure that the, the, the block itself is completely cleaned out all the okay. time. You know, normal gunk that's gunking up the microfin style uh, blocks is not gunking up our blocks at all. Uh, and it, obviously it's designed uh, for maintenance free. The only time right. you should have to take our block apart is if you want to change the impingement plate to uh, to change CPU. You, know? and then you also, and we'll hopefully have one of these to show, but you also showed me a, a photo of the inside of the cold plate. Yeah. For We saw like a, a Threadripper one, I think. Yeah. Or one of the other ones. And there were fins of varying heights. Yes. Is that accurate? Yeah, that's so, correct, yeah. So then the simple question, why? Uh, well, <laughs> uh, it, essentially the uh, the symmetrical uh, parallel fin uh, mm. arrangement is not efficient. Uh, you know, the best way of cooling is, uh, is to create like a vortex or create some real uh, uh, speed and, and if you like turbulence yeah, in the yeah. water. So we have what we call an offset strip fin arrangement, okay. uh, which is uh, varying height, heights of fins uh, in a pattern, but, uh, but very much randomized okay. to create this turbulence. Uh, and again, it's uh, it's uh, focuses around performance. Okay. Uh, you know, so it, just uh, keep it, keeping pressure with yeah, keeping keep pressure and improving yeah. performance. Okay. Exactly that. Uh, and obviously, our, our studies w w w w will align to a, a new pump mm. uh, coming later. Of course, we want to beat the competition by several degrees with the current solution on the current water cooling pumps. But our uh, solution is designed to also scale great with pump pressure. Okay. So, so you know, I mean, something like. Uh, the direct dye we're talking like uh, uh, over 10 degree leap with the okay. right pump and okay. and going in the and going in the higher direction right so it's a big i mean that's 100 megahertz on the cpu right right, right. Uh, and for the customer that i deal with and, and, and indeed your viewers that's more frame rate or it's more uh, cfd or, work or, realis or it's realistically not even frame rate just just more points on the leaderboard too, yeah right? of course yeah. if you're a benchmarker yeah. this is everything right right, right. yeah 
Okay, so uh, injection molding you mentioned. Yeah. What is it you wanna you wanna tell me about that? Well, uh, I mean, uh, injection molding uh, is is you know a very precise manufacturing technique. Uh, it's unique in the water cooling market, but it's very yeah. uh, popular in the automotive industry. Uh, and our manufacturing is done by a company that uh, is specialized in manufacturing parts for ha very high-end okay. automotive, okay. Uh, such as Tesla, for example. Right. Yeah. So, it's, uh, I mean, it's a very durable uh, technique, a very consistent technique. Uh, uh, and every single block, you know, they can uh, trace back uh, when it was manufactured, right, right. you know, really for the highest level quality control possible. So, so Rowan puts the words German engineering perfected on all of his products. Yeah. Sounds like you might have even higher standards. Yeah, I mean, than Roman. Uh, of course. Well, I like to think so. Okay, <laughs> right, you know? right. I mean, the Germans are very famous for this, and I, but I have to say, uh, our uh, our manufacturing is actually in Ireland. Oh, nice. But, uh, okay. They're manufacturing for uh, for around the world. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they're really uh, the highest grade possible. So the the plexi finish, which we, you see here on the block, this is machine, but it will be like glass in the final okay. product, and obviously we'll add RGB and other features that the gamer of today right, demands. Right. right. I mean, not to my test, but the gamer demands. Yeah. It, right? uh, so X X two and X three are the CPU blocks. Yeah. And then uh, let's talk about GPU briefly. So what's a lot of the concept is the same, I guess. Yeah, the the, the GPU uh, on launch will have 2080, 2080 Ti, right? Uh -huh. uh, the concept is totally the same. Uh, the GPU box uh, name is Vortex because okay. the idea is that the heat is sucked out down the middle. Okay. Uh, and the GPU block also has the offset strip fins and it has the shower head that is designed to, to cool mainly the CUDA section, okay. but also some section, uh, obviously so you're the tar targeting so individual parts of the die. Yes, the of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot uh, of work. Yeah, of course. But it's gaining as between eight and ten C on, on, oh, all, okay. on all competitors uh, in the GPU in market. Water cooling. And we're also cooling VRMs and other parts of the of the uh, GPU board that need okay. cooling. Okay, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, the, the, the CPU block uh, code names are like X2 and X3, ah. but it'll be Play, which is the basic block, okay. Pro, which is the midline, and then Extreme, which is the direct. direct. Uh, th those are the three ranges. Okay. And obviously the Pro will be the, the, the uh, lower end of the market, but still uh, a, a very affordable price, but still as good as the top end blocks of the current gen of everywhere else. Okay. And then the middle block is, is better, and then the final block is better still. Yeah. And like I said, they're scaling big, with pump pressure. Big, cl big claims. Yeah, but good, but good to good to enter into it with a yeah, goal I mean, to actually like do something, yeah, right? Not just not yeah, just throw exactly. LEDs on it. I mean, uh, eight pack is no compromise, right? right? So I'm working with no compromise uh, company who who are research based and they want to do everything the best. And this project's been uh, ongoing for like nine to 12 months now. It's not something. So we want to make sure that we are the best and right, that we can right. substantiate our claims. Right. Uh, so last thing then. Release dates and prices, any of that? Well, uh, pricing uh, will obviously be competitive. Mm. Uh, the entry level block, like I say, is, is very close to, if not the same performance as the, the top level blocks, and, and that'll be, the, be you know much lower price than the okay. top level blocks. TBD uh, though on, on a hard price. Yeah, at yeah, this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, yeah. I, exactly, because the injection molding manufacturing it, it is not nailed down yet because okay. we have to sort out the look, right? Right. Uh, and that's what we're fine tuning in a minute. The performance okay. is nailed down. It's the look that we're fine tuning. Right. Uh, but uh, the, hopefully, we're looking to bring the product to market within like eight to ten weeks. Okay. So we've got a heavy, uh, if you like, development schedule on the look, right. and also uh, the I guess the marketing materials, but how you fit the block. You know, the Tim to use it, blah, blah, you know, the right, usual right. stuff. Uh, all the paraphernalia that goes around uh, making it a professional product. Right. You know? Okay, uh, cool. That no compromise water cooling product. Right. Well, I look forward to testing it. Uh, yeah. You can check out more of this stuff, I guess, OC UK. Yeah, OC UK, and okay. obviously, uh, Case, Case King, King will be distributing also. Right. Yeah. And okay. it'll be exclusively a bit available from uh, the Case King group as soon as it's available. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, thank you for joining me. Yeah, thanks, Steve. You've got a rundown of that. Go watch their Bowers video now. So show him some love too. And we'll see you all next time. Subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. Thanks. <laughs>